This is Making Waves from NOAA's National Ocean Service. I'm Troy Kitch. The ocean is so big, it's hard to imagine that anything that we do could harm it. But we now know that the carbon dioxide we've been pumping into the atmosphere since the Industrial Revolution is rapidly changing the pH levels of seawater. It's a process called ocean acidification. But what does this mean and why should we care? Well, today we have a video for you that explains what ocean acidification is, how it's affecting marine life, and how NOAA tools are helping people monitor and adapt to changes in ocean chemistry. In the last 200 years, our global oceans have silently absorbed more than one quarter of the carbon dioxide that people generate. The chemistry of seawater is rapidly changing in a process called ocean acidification. Ocean acidification has the potential to fundamentally change the oceans, its inhabitants, the food webs, and marine life. We need to better understand how acidification affects our oceans so that we can develop tools to slow the rate of change. The U.S. Integrated Ocean Observing System, or IOS, uses real-time data to signal the approach of acidified seawater one or two days prior to its arrival, providing shellfish farmers with the tools to save their crops. This is Neetarts Bay, Oregon, and we have a shellfish hatchery here. What happens in the oceans really affects what happens to my business. The IOS data helps us to manage our hatchery. We pump in 75 to 100,000 gallons of seawater a day. We've got 20,000 gallon tanks. As we drain tanks, we fill tanks. We never stop filling tanks. It looks like dirt, but what you're looking at is 100 million larvae right here. It's, it's a huge responsibility to um, try to produce shellfish larvae. What you grow not only affects your business, but families out there depend on this larvae to seed their ground. And if you're not producing, you're affecting their livelihood. So there's a balancing act here. Everything's got to be just right to get these larvae through. We bought them out in production in 2008. We would bring the water in, put the larvae in it, and they would die, mysteriously die. In the back of your mind, you're thinking, maybe it doesn't work anymore. Maybe we lost our mojo. My wife said, you gotta throw the book out on how you used to grow larvae, because it's a new ocean. It's a changing ocean. I pretty much thought we were gonna lose the business. We never had no survival. That was the difference. We had zero survival. What drives the pH down is the amount of CO2 that's in the water. On a scientific level, they call it acidification. The larvae hated it. They either slowed down their growth or they died. This is where IO steps in. These guys have the ability to monitor the oceans. And this is what helps us run our business, dealing with these changing ocean chemistry. We used to never treat any water with anything. And now we filter, skim, treat with carbonate, add air and oxygen. Without the monitoring, we'd be driving blind at night, run off the road immediately in the ditch, we'd be, we'd be out of business. This is not a localized problem. It goes beyond what we're doing right here. Don't make it a, a party issue or anything like that. We're talking about the ocean. We're talking about something bigger than all of us put together. 